Alright guys, I'm pumped tonight to show you about our first suspension tutorial video. Oh my goodness, it's going to be awesome. And I just want to start off telling you that this is going to be a two-part series. Um, tonight we're going to focus mainly on, this, on the first six uh, suspension types. And I uh, hope you enjoy this uh, little video here for you. And hopefully you can gather some uh, ideas for your own creations. And uh, without any further delay, let's just jump right into the suspension types. So, can you guess which one I'm going to start off with? Well, if you pick the far right, you are correct. And believe it or not, this is a live axle or floating axle suspension type. As you can see, uh, it has three main points of contact. The main toe ball right here, and then the two six long links, which actually allow it to flex like this and have up and down movement. Now, what you might not notice is there's no shock absorbers. Well, <laughs> I would recommend you actually do that to actually help stabilize it so it's not so floppy like this. However, I'm actually using um, some shocks on some other suspension types, so just bear with me on that. Um, let's see, so it can go up and down, has side to side motion, and uh, I've used this on some other of my uh, uh, previous creations, and it's just a really awesome suspension type for off-road trial trucks. So, it's very robust design. So, that's the first one. Let's see, the second one could possibly be another one of my new favorites. It's called the Strut Tower. And what it does is, if you compress it, it actually uses a rubber band to actually stretch. And the black uh, lift arm is actually where the chassis would be. This is your wheel axle. And there's actually a main link on the back which actually helps uh, to stabilize the impact. So you could find this on any type of monster truck probably. And uh, so if you compress it, it looks like that. So. So just a very uh, solid, cool design. Um, I will not be posting any instructions for these designs, people. So I'm um, just saying that. So that way, if you don't really have to worry about, like, oh, are you making instructions or not? I'm just going to say right up front that I will not be making instructions. So <clears throat> if you need to, just go ahead and pause the video and uh, try to build off what I can show you here. So moving right along, this is our... Um, uh, pendular suspension setup and it uh, basically can go over let's see what can I use here I'll just use this tape um, it can basically just let's see see how it bends like that it, flex, it flexes on a fulcrum right down here which is why they call it pendular so So pendular is actually a really solid design. I use it on my I, I use this design on my six x six mini trial truck um, a while back. One of my new popular videos. Um, but it's just a great design, really basic and just highly popular design for uh, trial truck builders. Moving along, in actually conjunction with it, we have a tandem pivot. This is common on semi trucks and big rigs. Um, it uses shock absorbers, I mean, not shock absorbers, my bad, rubber bands to stabilize the uh, uh, the fulcrum pivot right where this khaki pin is. So, this black lift arm represents the actual chassis where it would be connected to. And you can actually use this in conjunction, like I said, with the pendular suspension type. So, and just to give you a quick demo, I guess, if I use my hand, it just kind of rolls right over it. So, just another great design and uh, highly sought after for any um, hardcore builders, as I like to call it. So, just really great. Uh, coming up on our second to last one tonight, guys, is the Tantra Axle. And it uses a Unimog shock to actually stabilize it. And Tantra Axles are really uh, 
unique in that their axle is actually bent downwards in a downward 30, 30 degree slope on this uh, instance. And as you can see, I already built up a mock-up uh, drivetrain system for it. So you can actually drive it with this red axle right here. And you can steer it with this link. So, um, so you can drive it. And you can steer it. So Next up we have our independent suspension. And this is a really uh, highly sought after uh, suspension type too just because it's really simple and it's just what a lot of vehicles in today's uh, uh, time actually use. So it also uh, comes with steering on, my, on this instance with this uh, tie rod piece. So that's that and it can be compressed also using a Unimog shock or any shock of any type would work just fine. So that's that and uh, hope you enjoyed this qu uh, sort of quick uh, instructional video on a tutorial guys. Check back soon for the second half and the second half is going to be awesome because I have a highly anticipated suspension type hint hint so you don't want to miss it. So that's all for tonight folks. Um, check back for the next half.